Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. And in this video, we're gonna talk about open E tuning. All the tones you're hearing in this video today are coming from the Black Star Studio 10 6L6, which is currently mic'd up with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser microphone and I'm using my Tokai Telecaster for this, which is tuned to open E tuning. So if you've already checked out some of the other videos on the Blackstar channel about open and alternate tunings, you will know that an open tuning is when you tune the open strings of your guitar to those of a major chord. So today we're using a tuning called open E tuning. So this is when all the strings are now tuned to the notes of an E major chord. So from low to high, we have got E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. So the strings that were previously A and D have both been tuned up a full tone to B and E respectively, and the G has been tuned up a semitone to a G sharp. So this means this is one of those few alternate tunings where we're actually going up instead of down. So if you're using super heavy gauge strings, you may need to do a little bit of setup work on your guitar. If you're using something standard like a set of nines or tens, you should be able to go up to opening without any issues with the guitar sort of moving around or needing a truss rod adjustment. So much like other open tunings, the great thing with open E tuning is that we can simplify the chord process. Now with this being open E tuning, our lowest string, so our low E, is still tuned to an E note. Now this is good because our reference points can still be the same. So for instance, we know that the fifth fret of the E string is an A note, that is still true in this tuning. Now when we use things like open G or open D tuning, because we are changing the pitch of the low E string, that does offset some of our reference points slightly, but like I said, open E is great because we're still using the E string as a reference point. So if I was to play all six strings, just open, I'm gonna get an E major chord. So because my reference points are the same, I can now do those one finger major chords anywhere I want. So on the third fret, it would be a G. The fifth, it would be an A. And the eighth, it would be a C. So all of those reference points are still the same. There are also a couple of cool chord extensions you can do in open E tuning. So if I've got my E major chord like so, and I raise the note that is actually on the G sharp string now, which was previously the G, this note here up to the first fret, I now get a sus4 chord. So this is an E sus4. I can repeat that anywhere I want then. So if I do a bar across the third fret for a G major, and I raise the third fret on the G sharp string up to the fourth, I get a G sus4. That's an A sus4 and C. So that's a pretty cool extension, and you can also do the six sus4 chords, which we talked about in the open G tuning videos, which are used a lot by bands like the Rolling Stones. This just resembles a regular dominant seventh chord. So we've got that raised fourth here, the suspended four, and I'm also adding the six here. So I'm raising the note that's on the A string, or the B string, I should say this time, up two frets. So this is a six sus4 chord in open E tuning. And I can do that as a bar chord. I can also do that kind of Keith Richards thing where I go on and off the six sus4. Like with all other alternate tunings, if you're gonna be doing any lead guitar or any slide playing, you're gonna to have to remap where your scales are as well. But in this video, we're just gonna talk about some of the basics of this tuning. So now I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite open E tuned riffs, just to give you an idea of how you can use the tuning in context, and maybe it will give you a few new riffs to check out and have some fun learning as well. So the first riff I'm gonna show you is by a group called The Black Crows, and this is a track called She Talks to Angels. The original was actually recorded on an acoustic, but for demonstration purposes today, I'm just gonna play it on this electric guitar. So here's how the riff sounds. So the majority of that riff was actually just that E major chord to the E6 sus4 pattern. That's 
that's actually repeated four times in the sort of segment I played there. It actually goes on for pretty much most of the song. That was just a little snippet of the intro. Now what happens in that part of the song is that there's another guitar part that sort of snakes in and out. So in between those, I'm doing a few different things. The first thing you saw me do was harmonics here. So across the 12th fret and the seventh. The second thing you saw me do was this little lead line. So that little lead line starts with a slide from the 2 to the 4 on the D string. Technically it's the E because of the tuning, but we'll refer to the strings by their standard tuned pitch just for reference. So I'm sliding from the 2 to the 4 on the D and playing the open G. Then I'm doing this little pull off phrase using the 3 and the 5 of the G with the open D. playing the D and B open and then a pull off on the two of the D to the open. And the final thing you saw me play was this little descending run. So that's just the pedal here. I'm playing the high E open and the fifth of the B. Back to the high E, then down to the four. The two open. Then the one on the G, still with that open E, open G, and open D. So here's that riff once more in full. The second riff I'm going to show you is a finger-picked clean riff. This is a song called Midnight in Harlem by the Tedeschi Trucks Band. So this is quite an easy riff to play. It actually shows how you can use a moving shape in open E tuning nicely with some open droned strings. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm playing the low E and the high E together. And then I'm playing the E, then the B. Then I'm doing this shape here. So I'm playing the two on the A, the two on the B. Then I'm playing the G, E, B. So the note on the B string is still fretted from whatever chord shape I've added. So that rhythm you hear across those two chords is the rhythm we're going to be using for the whole thing. So where I'm playing there on the second fret, I'm now moving that to the fourth. I'm playing the same rhythm as I did with the opens. Except this time I'm rooting it from the A string because that's where my chord starts. Then I'm coming back to the two and I'm adding that little phrase that starts from the G again. So it's the same rhythm twice in a little group. So here's that first part in full. The second half of the riff starts off exactly the same up to the fourth fret. But from this point we go up to the five. So what we play on the fifth fret is gonna be the same as the way we played it on the second. We're playing the two notes together on the A and B strings. Then I'm playing the G, the E, and then the B, but then I'm pulling that off to an open. So here's how that one sounds in full. The 
third opening riff we're going to look at today is the intro riff from the Rolling Stones track, Give Me Shelter. So this is probably the trickiest opening riff in this lesson. It revolves around three main chord positions rooted on the A string at the 9, 7 and 5. Everything in this part is played as a double stop, so I'm always playing two notes at any given time. So I'm starting off with a double stop here on the 9 of the A and D, followed by the D and G. Then I'm adding my middle finger to the 10 and my third finger to the 11 of the D going back to that A root double stop. Then straight back to this double stop here. You'll notice that as I was descending I was lifting a finger each time so I played the double stop at the 10 and 11. Then I lifted my third finger and played the 9 on the D and the 10 on the G twice. And then just the 9. Then we're coming down to the 7th fret, starting off exactly the same way. So it's the same pattern with the same additional fingers added there. But this time, instead of walking down, I'm just playing that double stop here on the 8 and 9 this time. And I'm offing, and then I'm moving that off to the double stop on the 5. So here's those two bars slowly. Then we come down to the 5, this part now is just straight double stops, so the notes are always going to be on top of each other. So that's 5 on the A and D, 5 on the D and G, 7, and 5 again. Then I'm doing a little descending movement here, so from the 7 of the D and G double stop, down to the 5, then the 5 on the A, twice. So here's the first part of that. Then I'm doing the 7 and 5 on the D and G once more. Sliding my first finger up to the 7 and adding that double stop again. And then the double stop on the 7 of the A and D. So there's quite a lot going on in that one, so build that one up slowly. Take your time with it. Here's that one slowly all the way through so you can really see all the movements. So spend a little time following the tab along for that one because that one is a little bit fiddly. It does take a while to get that one right. Here's that one once more at full speed. Fourth and final riff in opening we're going to look at is probably my favorite opening riff. This is Just Got Paid by ZZ Top. <laughs> So this riff starts with a hammer-on from the 3 to the 5 on the A string, followed by an open low E which is palm muted. So in this one the open low E is actually pedaled between most of the notes. So once we've hit that open E we're playing the 3rd on the D and then the E once more. Then the 5 on the A, 3, 5, then I'm hitting the 3 on the low E with a pull off. To the 5 on the A. Notice how I was just swinging back and forth there between the open low E and those fretted notes. There's a bit of a swing to this one so you really have to make sure you get your picking nice and accurate for that one because you are going to be crossing strings a little bit. So once again it's hammer on open, third on the D 
open, five on the A, three on the A, five on the A to the pull off on the E, and back to the five on the A. So that's a really fun rock riff. Crank the gain on that one and have some fun with it. Here's that once more at full speed. So there you go, there are four open E-tuned riffs and a couple of different principles that you can use to get started with that tuning. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Let me know down below in the comments how you've gotten on with using open E-tuning, if you've used it before or if you're new to it. And also let me know if you've checked out any of the other alternate and open tuned lessons on the Blackstar channel. Don't forget to check out the other videos on the Blackstar channel if you haven't already done so. There's some great stuff there on alternate tunings and how to get started in this new world outside of standard tuning. I think you'll have some fun and it will open a few new creative doors for you. So please go and check those out. And if anyone out there is looking for a guitar teacher, please head to musicteacher.com. Check out the nationwide data base of great music teachers all around the country. All of them are waiting to help you guys take your playing to that next level. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.